All right guys, at the time of filming this, it is about 6 a.m. on Amazon's Prime Day. And uh, this video is a follow-up to the previous one I posted a few days ago around filming hunts and the reasons I do it and the reasons you know I think others should get into it if they're not already. And I've had a ton of people reach out after that, which is awesome. You know, that was the goal is to, to get more guys interested. So hopefully this video will be helpful too. Uh, like I mentioned, I, I was my goal to put this video out um, to hopefully catch some of the Prime Day deals today and tomorrow uh, to save a little bit of money on ordering some of this camera gear. However, I did not put this list together based on what was on sale. So some of it's on sale, some of it's not. Uh, this is more of just a gear recommendation list based on what I use. So um, if you can catch some of these deals, awesome. If not, the list is still good. It's still you know, what I would recommend to guys. Uh, the second thing with regards to this list is that it's not a one size fits all. Obviously there's tons and tons and tons of cameras and accessories and everything out there not possible for me to review them all and have used them all. So I'm going more off of what I've used and know. Um, if there are certain situations, maybe you know you, you don't wanna spend quite this much or maybe you're looking for something even higher end, whatever it is, like I mentioned before, feel free to reach out to me directly and I can try to you know, help you know, a, a custom, more custom fit solution, I guess, for, for your situation. So. Uh, again, that's my goal is just to help guys get into filming hunts and, you know, provide some of my experience through the trials and errors of the year, uh, over the years. So, um, with regards to the list of gear, I figured the easiest thing to do rather than listing a million links in the description was to just create a little Amazon storefront page basically and break it down by category. So you can click in there, um, very easily see which accessories are on the list, which cameras, uh, lenses, etc. So obviously that one link to the Amazon storefront is in the description below. Um, and I'm not gonna go through every single thing on this list, uh, but I'll touch on a, on a couple of them here, uh, starting with the cameras and lenses. All right, the first camera, trying to keep this short and sweet, the first camera on this list is the one I'm filming with right now. It's the Sony a7S III. And uh, obviously a little bit higher end camera, but I do use this in the field a lot. Um, two main things I love about it is it films in 4K 120, 120 frames per second, um, which creates some, some cool slow motion opportunities. And second of all, it's low light capability is, is pretty incredible. Um, obviously, as hunters, we face a lot of low light situations, um, either you know close to sunrise or sunset. Uh, this thing, most of the time, can see better than the naked eye. So, um, very, very good low light capability, and, and that's really what makes this camera special. Um, I did include two other Sony mirrorless cameras on here. These mirrorless style cameras are great, shoot great video quality, uh, pretty solid photography capabilities as well. Um, I will say I don't use this for everyday hunting situations, mostly early and late when the deer are more likely to be um, relaxed or feeding, etc. During the rut, I usually switch to a video camera style um, just because it's hard to keep deer in focus with a mirrorless camera. It's got a lot more shallow depth of field. Um, so during rut situations, I switch over to a camera um, like some of these on the list, the, the more dedicated video cameras that are gonna have a, a, a deeper depth of field um, and the animals with their run around or whatever, the bucks, it's, uh, it's gonna keep them in focus. So um, I'll get into more of that as we get towards those cameras, but I've, I've got a few different price budget options uh, for the Sony mirrorless cameras and then a number of lenses. So Sony 24 to 105, um, just a good utility lens. This was one of the first ones I bought when I moved to the Sony mirrorless line and still use it quite a bit today. Uh, that wide angle one is the 14 millimeters, the one I have on the camera right now. Um, it is a full manual lens, so if you're not comfortable running you know, manual aperture and everything like that, uh, you may want to skip over that one, but if you are comfortable, it's a very good price point for a wide-angle lens. 
uh, on the opposite, opposite end of the spectrum, I have the 150 to 600. This is my telephoto lens. So situations for velvet filming or, you know, whatever, where I want to really reach out there. Uh, I've had that, had this for, for probably seven or eight years. It's been a very good lens for me. Um, and then this is one of my newer lenses I got about a year ago. It's the 70 to 300. This is the lens I use in hunting situations with the, with the Sony a7S III. So, you know, earlier late season, that's usually the lens I have on my camera. Um, moving quickly to the video cameras. Again, this, this is what I'd recommend for most guys um, that aren't as proficient with cameras and, you know, shallow depth of field and everything like that. These, these video cameras that I have on here are very user friendly and have a lot of good features too. It's the line that I started with. So the Canon Vixia G10, um, was the very first one I bought probably back in 2012. Uh, they're all the way up to the G70 now, which I put on this list. Um, but if you're not one to spend that, you know, you can go back a few models. I'll have the G20 on this list as well. Uh, the camera that I use is the, the, the Canon XF400. This thing, while it's you know, also an older model, has still been very good for me. It shoots in 4K 60, which is nice. Not the greatest low light capability, um, pretty bad on battery life. So I usually have to carry a lot of batteries with me, but in general, it still fits, you know, most of my hunting situations better than most of these other cameras. So uh, that's why I still use it uh, today. And then finally, one other camera I threw on this is a little Panasonic HD camera. It's got a 20X optical zoom. Uh, the reason I threw this on there, while I haven't personally used it, I did a little research on it and I wanted to at least offer one option under $500 for those guys that are in that budget range. Um, one of the first things you usually lose when you go to a smaller handy cam style camera like that is the low light capability. Um, this one advertises better low light capability, but it seems like a lot of them do. Um, but just kind of a, a word of caution on that. But guys that are looking to, you know, really just capture the memories. Uh, this camera's got a lot of little features for that price point. It looks like it's on sale uh, today as well. And then real quick, I did put some GoPros on here. I love the GoPros for a lot of different situations, whether I'm just walking around filming a segment or doing interviews, um, or of course the important second angles on the tree. I really like the GoPro Hero 11, uh, which is the latest version. It, uh, and I have the media mod on it, which has a little shotgun mic, but you also have the ability to plug in like a wireless or your own shotgun mic. Um, this has been very, very good. Good quality audio, video, everything. Uh, the one thing I really like about this is the Enduro batteries, which is GoPro's cold weather batteries. That's always big, been my biggest complaint about GoPros over the years is their battery life just can't handle most of the situations that I put it in. Uh, but those Enduro batteries have been way, way, way better. So, um, and I think you can, you can backfit those into at least the nine and the 10, the Hero 9 and 10. So um, definitely, if you're looking to use this for hunting situations, look at those Enduro batteries. Uh, if you're not wanting the latest version, I did put the Hero 10, which is one model back. It looks like there's a, an accessory bundle uh, deal for Prime Day. So I threw that on there, but uh, GoPros are so nice to have for a lot of different situations. All right, moving quickly to the camera accessories. Um, I'm not gonna cover all these, but uh, just some of the main ones that uh, I use or get questions on. The wireless mics, there's a lot out there. I, I've, I have a set of you know the high dollar Sennheiser ones, um, but I've been very impressed. The one I'm using right now is the Hollyland one. Um, and I've actually got the one that comes with the wireless charging case and, and um, it has two mics along with the receiver. It's got, it comes with all the cables you need. It comes with the, the little wind muffs um, and it's performed very well. The battery life has been really good and you can use it with a lot of different cameras or even your cell phone, it includes a cord with that. So uh, threw those on there for the guys looking for wireless mics and um, at a very affordable price. Uh, shotgun mics, I put this little Sennheiser one on here. This one's been, been very, very solid and you know, at under $200, it's a pretty good deal as well. 
Um, with the, the Canon, I also use a Sennheiser one. This is the MKE 600. Um, that's been a good one. Uh, a few other things I put on there, GoPro accessories, the Enduro batteries. Uh, this is that flexible Gumby mount. Um, this one's been nice to be able to wrap around branches or whatever and you know, e easy on and off. Um, I also like those jaws clamps. Um, Ver Zoom, I don't know if I have one here, but I got a couple on this list. Those are really nice for controlling these video cameras. So um, you basically put that on your fluid head and you can control, you know, zoom, record. Uh, there's one model on here that you can uh, control focus as well. Highly, highly recommend getting one of those. Um, it makes your filming uh, so much easier and controlling the camera, um, especially in situations where you're by yourself. Um, I include a couple tripods and video lights on here, a cage if you're looking for one for you know one of the Sonys. It's nice to be able to add, add accessories. I have one on this camera right now. And uh, of course, Prime Day is also a good deal to look at batteries. Um, rechargeable AAAs are really nice for this one. You know, I can get home and throw those on the charger you know, every few days or whatever. They last pretty long. And I've had good luck with, uh, with Amazon's brand of, of different batteries, whether they be AAA or AA. All right, moving on to the storage. This is usually where I end up spending most of my money on Prime Day. You know, they usually have a lot of good deals on, on memory and uh, hard drives and things like that. My favorite hard drives, external hard drives, have been the Lacey brand. I have one plugged into my computer right now, um, but also have one in the box here. Uh, I include a two terabyte version and a five terabyte version, um, but just they've been very durable and we've had good experience too with Lacey's customer service and replacing drives that have gone bad and recovery and all that type of stuff. So, um, so far my experience has been very good. I feel comfortable rec uh, recommending those. Uh, for your cameras, the SD cards, the one I put on here, which is the the V90 version, the, the Lexar brand, that one is the one I have in the camera. That one is nice for, you know, especially like the 4K 120, those really high bitrate clips. Um, that's the camera, or that's the SD card I use for that. But for camcorders and stuff like that, I've had good luck with the SanDisk brand. And I put a couple of different sizes on this list. Um, again, almost all of these are on sale uh, for Prime Day. So definitely check those out and, and now's a good time to order those. And finally, I added a drone section to this as well. It looks like maybe one or two are on sale for Prime Day. Um, the one that I have currently is the Mini 3 Pro. Um, as you can see, very, very compact. And, and for me, that was more important right now is just uh, having something more compact. It still shoots very good video, especially for what, what I need it for. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been, it's, and it's also a big improvement over some of the old, uh, other mini versions that didn't do as well, especially in, in high winds. This one seems to hold its own pretty good in most situations. Um, so check that out. It looks like it is on sale. And then uh, I, I threw a couple more on there. If you're looking for a higher end one, that Mavic 3 Pro is, is a pretty sweet um, drone. Shoots very high quality video. Um, that one has zoom capabilities as well with multiple lenses. And then um, the FPV, one I kind of threw on there for fun. I've used that one a number of times, um, but it's just a cool drone flying experience. It doesn't shoot as good a video as like the Mavic 3 Pro, but it uh, is just more of a for fun drone. You get to put the, the goggles on and kind of see the, the cockpit view. Um, so just do that one on there for fun if anyone's looking for kind of a cool drone flying experience. So I know I ran through this pretty quick, but you know, I figured the easier thing was just to provide the link and you guys can look and click through the products from there. And if, if there's something that fits your needs or interests, um, you can just order it. 
I know, again, I'm not covering every single camera out there. So if there are, you know, certain questions you guys have, just let me know and I'll try to help out as best as possible. Um, and I will, this is, again, I kind of threw this together pretty quick, um, but I'll go through more of a gear um, review around all the other equipment with regards to camera arms and things like that at some some point later on i'm hoping to be able to test out a new camera arm here shortly um, so I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that um, and just you know packing and stuff like that set up I'll, I'll cover more of that at a later date but just wanted to provide this list in case anyone wanted to order some gear in the short term um, again feel free to to reach out if you have questions i'd love to help out in any way i can uh, best of luck as you get into it and uh, thank you guys for the support